Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today I'm going to replace an extension cord in, but I'm going to be doing it with just my multi-tools. Now normally I would just do this with the Leatherman Surge, but this is the first opportunity that I've had to use the Victorinox Electrician, and so I want to try out what that little blade looks like. So this is kind of a high industrial cord, so if I fumble through this a little bit, it's because uh, this cord is actually really kind of tougher than some other cords to replace the ends on them just because the way it's constructed is a very very good cord uh, it's a shame that my guys did what they did to it but nonetheless uh, it's eight feet from the end and I actually need kind of an eight foot cord here in the garage so it's actually going to work out well now normally I would just cut through it with a good set of cutters like my Kleins, but we're going to try to do this with just the multi-tool. So when, I, when I'm in the field and I have to do this uh, with my surge all the time, usually I'll just cut a couple places on the jacket, strip the jacket, and get the jacket away before I start cutting on the wires themselves. So we're going to try to do that with the Victorinox Electrician. We want to just run it around so that we are getting about through, getting through about 90% of that jacket. And we'll come down about an inch and do the same thing over here. And on this particular one, let's see if we'll make sure we got that broke free first. Like I said, this cord is actually pretty robust, so I might have to do this a couple times to make sure I got down far enough on that jacket. This one's actually kind of tough. It's a really, really good cord. There, it's starting to break free. So you'll notice I don't go all the way through, obviously. I just want to break that cord or break that jacket off. We've got that side. And we've almost got this side. There it goes. Now that we've done that, then I'll just make a cut down it so that I can get it stripped off there. And get the jacket stripped away. Now. Now we'll put the Victorinox away. That worked really well. I'm really impressed with that little blade. I like that little blade a lot. We'll set the Victorinox to the side. We're gonna do the rest of this with just the, with just the Leatherman. So that's how I normally get the jacket off when I have to do this kind of, uh, you know, in the field. I don't have all my tools with me. Get enough where I can get to the wires and then get them cut off. And we'll try to get all these cut off evenly. Might have to redo it just a little bit. Yeah, I got that ground wire a little short, or a little long. Uh, it looks pretty decent. Let's make sure that we got the gauge strip correctly. We're gonna be using this one here. Looks like we're right on the money. So now we just need to strip all the wires back. And we're gonna try it with a wire stripper on the surge, but this one might be a little tough for it. I might have to use the knife because of the particular coating that's on these wires. But normally I would do this with surge on most stuff like this that I'm replacing. So just kind of bend those out of the way, set it in there, and we'll twist it around, see if we can't get that to move. And it's a little tough, that, that rubberized coating on here. You really have to hit it a couple times. There we go. You got the first one. And engage it correctly. Well, kind of got that wire, got in my way. Didn't get it bent over far enough. Again, bear with me. This is a little troublesome on this particular cord because of just the way it's constructed. We've got two down, one more to go. And the third one. Well, that didn't go too bad. All right. Now we get all those twisted up. Looks like our wire's ready to go. Let's get our plug in here. All right. Let's get our plug undone here. And make sure all of our things are loosened off. It looks like they already are. So now we are ready to bring the wire in. Get our ground wire first. Make sure we get that snugged in, and then our white. And then finally our black 
Esquire. And now we have to flip the ends of these because we're using a little bit more robust cord here. So let me get those flipped around. And now we are ready to seat it together. This cord is a little thick for that particular plug, so we're going to have to just take it easy with this screwdriver, but I think it's going to get it all the way down. This is kind of a normal task that I do with the Leatherman Surge uh, pretty much on a daily basis, to be honest. Well, not but daily. This is kind of a once every month thing uh, for this particular task, but it's little stuff like this that I use a surge for all the time. And you can see that didn't take too long. Uh, now, normally I would do it. I just wanted to try out that electrician blade, and boy, that thing worked really nicely. I love that curved blade, so I'm gonna, I might be carrying that for a little bit to see if I like it better than the Pioneer X or the Compact. But this is kind of the general thing that I'll do with the Surge on a daily basis, and it's why it is so valuable to me to carry a multi tool. My name is Ben, you've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. Appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one.